Good morning. I had the most miraculous day yesterday at the beach. I didn't wouldn't be able to videotape it because I was doing an oil painting and I had set up the easel and what is going on with these chickens? Anyway, um, I sent a message to a family member. Life gets kind of funny when you get older. <laughs> this mama chicken must be laying eggs. I, is that the noise they make? I have no idea. Anyway, I sent a message to somebody and it went to 13 people and I noticed it after I sent it. <laughs> I don't know, she ran away. Anyway, I thought, I didn't even see people's responses. So, prior to that, I had gotten a message about a possible malware on my phone, and I thought it was just spam or something. And I was in the hospital, let me show you, hang on. The day before, I'm trying to blame this on something else, right? Isn't that something that we do? There's the mountains up there so you guys can look at the mountains while I'm trying to show you this. I went into the hospital because this was swollen. See how big that is, round? And now I'm finding a little itchy thing. Maybe I got bit by a spider, but anyway, they diagnosed it with bursitis in eight hours. And yesterday, when I went to the beach with my dear friend, uh, I set up my easel because eight hours in the emergency room, I thought I could have finished four canvases, four paintings in that amount of time. And um, so the message was rather strange. I don't think I'm going to repeat it here. Um, <laughs> And my family are pretty upset and everybody was talking to each other, but I couldn't see their responses. And except for uh, two people called me. Um, and one of my granddaughters says, getting old is rather funny. <laughs> we do funny things. And I came out here this morning and I find this big black garbage bag. And the things that I needed to work on the garden, because I'm going to fill these little boxes up with soil so that the um, the chickens don't dig up the roots. This is what I found in the black bag. You are not going to believe this. It was a bunch of other concrete books, but this is what I found in the black bag. one of the books. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm not very good with this. And I'm sure you can turn it around and see what it says. I'm not sure what to think of this because I guess, I, I don't know, I don't care. I'm trying to get, I'm gonna get ready for church. Because I leave the music at church. And I'm going to go down and see if I can run into any more of my... I had put my easel right in between two people that are having a big, huge party, okay? And this party is one side. The other side, they let me know, because I parked way down on the boat ramp area. And there's cars behind me. That that's her car. So what I found out, this is what I found out. The one party on the left, who invited us to eat, realized who I was by my style of art. Isn't that his wife? And I'm related to them through my husband's family. And so there the Pa'inas are, on the left, feeding us. And 
to the right, the lady who said they were parked there said, oh, we're la la la, okay? And so there I was in the middle of two, um, there's celebrations of life. Um, and they'd had some deaths in the family and people had come in from Colorado. Oh my gosh, this basil is looking so gorgeous. Look at it. I just kept pinching out the middles. Anyway, I think the elbow might be a, a, a spider bite. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it because I got essential oils. I'm never going to an emergency room again unless I'm dying. Ever. I mean, it got dangerous. The, the doctor said, no, no, you can't come out here right now. And I was surprised because he's a really young doctor with a super bedside manner. I mean, so uplifting. And you would listen to him. <clears throat> and um, he, uh, he says, go in your room and stay. And I've seen this urgency on his face, and I did it. I listened to him, and I went in my room and stayed. And, and there were withdrawals and people that were trying to commit suicide and they got the little babies out of the emergency room area and into an area uh, which was really smart and I noticed they have cameras and monitors and they're really on top of it and um, <laughs> there they are they're all on the hill one of these days we'll do a live when I learn how to keep my phone from sending messages out to 13 people. <laughs> I didn't even know them. I didn't even see the responses. Uh, there they are. They're all up on the hill. There they come. There's my babies. They're free to leave the yard too now if they like. Uh, my goal was to take those these white boxes pop them open and put them over the roots. See, they keep digging up the roots. My bay plant here, and they dug up where the I had put soil around by my rosemary. And you folks want to see my fairy garden? I got water on it right now, but, um, and I I harvested the peanuts, but I still have a few more to go. I think, unless they dug them all up. That's my neighbors having a good time. This is my home. I'm staying here. And there's my garden. You can go through this little archway. I didn't plan it this way. God and all the spirits that help with See, these boxes will go over top of that, that bay, that bay tree. I'll open up the top and then I'll put soil in it. He threw them out. I have a reason for them. So there's the entranceway to my fairy garden. Right. That's my car. Right. Uh-oh. can't see it too good. I, it's a lot easier for me to, to um, film without me in it because I'm still learning. I don't have my selfie stick with me. So that's as far as my arm goes out. <laughs> and the bees have been loving me. Yes, they love me. I did put some special oil that I get from Georgia. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the name of it, but it works. Oh, wow, there they are. There they are. My little army. I wonder if they'd protect me if I was in danger. <laughs> I 
I never thought of that till just now. And a lot of times that happens as you get older. You say things that do things that, where did that come from? And it's the first time you ever done it. Anyway, or said it, or thought it. And the Bird of Paradise are absolutely gorgeous. I did a nighttime video last night of um, Kim trailing and the skies. And here's the, here's the Bird of Paradise. And they say, I love you. And they say, never give up. Never give up. Okay? You're sons and daughters of God and he loves you. That is royalty royal. Okay? And you remember that. And Jesus had to die to be resurrected. We might not have to suffer as greatly when we die. But it is part of the circle of life. And there's some more bird of paradise saying hello. Oh, I like that one. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try it. Now that I have this video, I'll have it there forever. Hi, B. How are you? <laughs> I just leave them alone. <laughs> one of them was walking on my fingertip. This finger. This finger. And I think it was, I don't know what, maybe it was trying to help me feel better. Maybe it knew I was sick. I have no idea. There's another one. There's another bird of paradise. It loves you. Heavenly Father created this earth. This earth is beautiful. This earth can sustain everybody that's on it. And get that garbage out of your head, okay? That's a bunch of baloney. Okay, there is no, no change in the atmosphere. I think there's certain words I need to try and remove. Um, see, there's their food. I'll give them real food today. They are finally capable of eating the big pieces of corn. There they are. Um, I decided to stop spoiling them. And... I will know tomorrow how yesterday's possible malware that sent a message to 13 people <laughs> is going to affect my life. I don't think it's going to, I mean, I, I have no idea. I just was surprised when I found the book on white trash in the black trash bag. Yeah. So... Uh, I, I don't know what message he sent to me. He told me to get out last night, and I, the house is separated, okay? And I'm pulling stuff out of his refrigerator that needs, anyway, I don't want to go there because I had such a marvelous day yesterday. We need to hang on to those marvelous days. We need to hang on to those wonderful memories. And we need to know that Heavenly Father has things planned for us. He knows what's going to happen. Read your scriptures, pray, and listen to him. My prayers are saying, go take my thyroid medicine and go take my medicine and get ready and go to lead the music at church. Um, mock a kilo steak, then go to Wine Eye Ward, and you'll see me there um, leading the music. Um, I love you all very much. I do love you. And... Um, I don't have things that welcomes in new members or anything planned out on my my YouTube channel because I just don't have um, the knowledge to do that. I don't have the knowledge to do that. Okay, I'm going to play with my hands. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I usually talk with my hands. My grandpa's a blonde Sicilian and Italians talk with their hands. Because if they hit anybody, they go directly to jail. <laughs> no stop, no get out, until they decide, you know, people just don't hit each other, <laughs> that's why. And you can be driving behind somebody, and they're talking with their hands, and they don't have their hands on the steering wheel, and you're like, oh my gosh, oh, we don't get wrecked, because there are more wrecks per capita than anywhere in the world in Italy. Um, I don't think it's a very... 
I'm not going to share how I feel about what I'm going to do for my life because each of you need your own personal revelations. You need your own personal revelations to survive in these last days. And the only way you can do that is read your scriptures. Listen. Love you. Bye.